This is the lovely town of Mechel. I have just been exploring a little bit into these farm fields. I'm sure there's an infinite amount of uh, riding to be done there. It just looks beautiful. Instead of going into town, I want to take a look here and see where all this goes. There's a number of farm roads that shoot off to the left. And they all look like they're fun. Years ago, Mecca was a, a, a kind of a sleepy village, mostly populated by Air Force guys that uh, worked nearby and up on uh, up in La Santos de la Homosa, which is where they have a big radar station or had. That's gone now. There's some remnants of it. Headwind is brutal. You'd think with the E Hub, the headwind wouldn't matter much, but it's even worse than going uphill.
with this headwind and this particularly soft surface, I'm going pretty slow. I did cut back the power to the hub motor because it was getting way too hot on big climbs, but I may have cut it back too much. Without a motor at all, going into this headwind on the surface is very slow. No problems, just slow. Now we have a tailwind. Yay! I'm going to take a wild guess and say this road takes us back. <clears throat> Huge difference with the uh, wind to, to the back. I'm going 35 and before the best I could hope for is around 20-ish, 20 25. I could jack up the, the current to the hub motor, but when I do do climbs like up to Los Santos, up to San Pedro's up there, that gets pretty crazy and the motor does not like it. It does have a thermal protector and it will shut off, but doesn't like it.
Yeah, this, this heavy current tire makes a huge difference. Let me show you. With the 2.25, it was a Schwab rocket rig, which is totally unimpressive. I couldn't come down this little hill at 45. And with this tire, it's fine. It has big lugs. It's a beefier tire. It has a heavier sidewall. Now, I don't particularly care about a heavy sidewall, but that's part of the part of the design. Eddy Current makes a front and a rear, and they're designed for powerful e-bikes. More powerful than this, to be sure. I did get the Shimano Ice Tech 180 uh, disc put on, and it works lovely. But the one that came for the rear, unfortunately, was bent. So I'm back to the original stock 160 that came with the bike, at least for now. And I'm still running the Tough Tom in the back. I really like this tire. May not be impressive by many standards. However,